Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a state visit to the United States. It is the highest ranked visit according to diplomatic protocol. India and the US will also sign a whopping $3 billion deal for outright purchase of 30 MQ-9 series of drones. भारत और अमेरिका ने स्पेस प्रोग्राम को लेकर भी बहुत सारे खास समझौते किए हैं जिसके मुताबिक नासा और इसरो का साझा अभियान अब चलेगा अब ये निर्णय लिया गया है कि एच वन बी वीजा को रिन्यू करने के लिए आपको अमेरिका से बाहर नहीं जाना पड़ेगा Hello everybody this is Pawan Satyaraju and in today's episode we are talking about the official visit of Modi ji to United States well this is significant because of two outcomes number one is India's purchase of 31 MQ-9B aerial combat drones and number two is the collaboration established between NASA and ISRO to even take a step back this is not just significant but also historic because PM Narendra Modi ji has been traveling to US multiple times in fact he traveled seven times since he became a prime minister but still this is the first time that he got the state visit honor number 2 ever this is only the third time ever that an indian president or a prime minister has received this state visit honor in 1963 it was then president mr sarvepalli radhakrishnan and in 2009 it was then prime minister dr manmohan singh and now it is our pm narendra modi ji now take a look at the last 4 years since joe biden has become the president of united states only two foreign presidents or prime ministers have received this honor it was french president emmanuel macron and south korean president so you can see that the two countries are getting deeper and building stronger relationships not just between these two countries but india is also showing its strength on the global stage huge huge event for india firstly this visit provides an opportunity for both the countries to progress on the already established defense cooperation in 2014 when modi ji became the prime minister for the first time india and us have signed a joint statement emphasizing the importance of defense cooperation within the bilateral relationships and in that particular joint statement the emphasis was primarily on transfer of technology with respect to arms production number 2 was about joint production and co development of armed products and 3 fighting together the terrorism and also making sure that the region itself is stable now in this particular visit of 2023 both these leaders get an opportunity to improve upon and explore if there are any further collaboration opportunities and that is where the first point of the visit comes into the picture that is purchase of 31 MQ 9Bs these are combat aerial drones now this is expected to significantly improve the strength of indian forces 10 among these 31 would go into the navy 10 would go into the air force and nine would go into the armed forces two would be used for training purposes now this is expected to again reduce the tensions on the border because india gets to display its strength these drones can carry up to 2000 kg of weight and can go up in the air up to 50000 feet this is immense and this is definitely improving the overall strength of the indian forces this is expected to cost up to 3 billion dollars for these 31 drones furthermore modi ji's visit to the us is also significant from india's look east policy perspective because us at this moment is also trying to rebalance its indo pacific strategy now in this entire context there is also the other important element that is the failing supply chain lanes and over reliance on china with respect to the manufacturing needs of the world and that is where 
Micron, one of the world's largest semiconductor manufacturing companies, has announced that they will be opening their manufacturing plant in Gujarat, India. And this plant would assemble, test and also package semiconductor chips. This is a huge investment from Micron's side. They are going to put in approximately $875 million of upfront investment along with the Indian government subsidies which would totally add up to roughly $2.75 billion. Lastly, the most exciting news is the manufacturing of fighter jet engines. India and US have signed an MOU according to which India will be manufacturing fighter jet engines. Now this is huge because not many countries in the world have the capability to manufacture these fighter jet engines. Right now, it is US, Russia, UK, Israel, France and Germany. Not even China produces these fighter jet engines. Now it is difficult from two aspects. Number one, the costs involved are very high. And number two, India and even China does not have at this moment the technology know-how to manufacture these. So ability to transfer the technology and manufacture in India is a big deal that is coming out of this specific trip. India has also announced that they are joining the Artemis Accord, a group of 26 nations which come together. It's a non-binding agreement and these guys come together to cooperate on civil space exploration, exchanging ideas and coming together on joint missions. India, ISRO and NASA have announced that they will be working together on a strategic framework for human space flight. And this is the first time that US has agreed to do a joint mission along with India. And the unique thing about this is the agreement will be signed in space only. Now, as we take a step back and conclude the video, a quick question for you. What do you think? Do these diplomatic visits in the globalized world make any difference with respect to fostering bilateral relations and improving the mutual understanding between these nations? Do let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. See you again. Take care.